So in this video we're going to go over the calendar section, in the previous video we went over the mail section. So the first thing we're going to do is changing up your view. So to do that, you can do it a couple different ways. Uh, the first one I'll show you is the month that it says up top. You can click that drop down and select certain days that you're on. You can see that I'm on Wednesday the 20th right now, um, but you have the ability to change that any day that you want. You can scroll, scroll through the months and select a date that's further down in the timeline. Or you can go over to these three vertical bars over here and click the drop down. You have a couple different options, the week, agenda, and day. So if I click agenda, it gives me a list of what's going on today and the next couple days following that. Or you can go to the day view of what's going on in the current day. We'll just change back to week for now. Um, and then if you click the three bars in the upper left hand corner, it kind of works the same way as mail. Um, you have your different accounts up there. You can see that I only have one. And then you can select the calendars that you want to view. So let's say I just want to view the schedule that is sent out to everyone. I can unselect my calendar and go back in here. You can see the green one went away that was in my schedule. So if I click back on there, it'll come back up again. And then the last thing that we're going to go over in the calendar section is adding um, an appointment. So you can do that two different ways by tapping on a time slot or the top right hand corner plus button. So if you tap on a time slot, you can see that this gets brought up. Um, it's a new event. So you can give it a title, who's going to attend, uh, how long it's going to be, the location that you want in that, the alert, how many minutes before do you want your calendar to let you know that you have an event coming up, um, how you would like it to be shown, um, busy, free, tentative, or out of office, uh, the description of the meeting, and if you would like it to repeat um, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. We're going to close out of that for now. And then once again, if you want to add it, you can click the plus button here. And then it brings up the same screen there. So you can go through and select when you want the time to be, who's going to be attending, the alerts, and all of that. So that's really it for the calendar side of things. It's very basic uh, for iPad and iPhone, but it's, it's super handy. Um, so we'll move on to the next video now.